Hello party people, it's Sajid Tehami back again with another video. In this video, I'll be talking about variables and how to use them. And again, in this video, we are not going to go too deep in variables. I'm just going to show you how we can use the variables to turn our one screen from dark mode to light mode. So let's begin. Right here, we have local variables. If you click this button, you can see this window pop up. Now, if I click this button, create variable, we have four different attributes. I'm going to go with color. As I said, for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with really, really simple task and I'm going to go with color. So if I select color, we have to give it a name. I'm going to call it background for now. And if you see here, we have another plus button saying new variable mode. So if you click this, you can see we have now two different modes for same background color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click. I'm going to call it light mode and I'm going to call this one dark mode. So for light mode, the background color should be white and for dark mode, the background color should be black. Now, if you want to create more color variables, we have to click right here, create variable again, color for this one. I'm going to call it foreground for text for foreground. The light mode color should be black and the dark mode color for foreground should be white, which is already correct. I'm going to create another variable for links and I'm going to press on color. I'm going to call it links or whatever you want to call it. For now, I'm going to go with links. So for links in the light mode, I have to select the this color and for dark mode, I have to select this color and yeah, we're all set. All right. So if you see this screen right now, you can see I'm not using any color. These are all hard coded colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the colors the, from the library that we just created. So I'm going to select the fill color for background, for text colors, the foreground and the link color, the links. Now, if I duplicate this screen and go right over here, we have two different modes, light mode and dark mode. I'm going to switch to dark mode and voila, as you can see, the mode is changed. World is changing, people. You should change with it. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's all from my side for this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm going to be making more videos about variables and starting really, really slow. And then eventually we're going to be experts in this variable thing Figma just introduced to mess with our lives. Okay, see ya. Cheers.